Hey, hi, hello and uh, very important video again. This is the part three of video series which I'm making great communicators, five secrets of great communicators. Let me start with the story. This story is about Dr. Viktor Frankl, a world renowned psychiatrist. At the middle of the night, he got a call from his old patient. This lady was very disturbed and she was crying there. And she said that now I'm going to end my life. Enough. I don't want any treatment. And now I can't bear it. Dr. Frankel tried to persuade her, tried to convince her not to do that. So after two to three hours of marathon discussion on phone, finally she agreed. He was relieved. And secondly, he called that lady to his hospital. The lady came and uh, Dr. Frankel asked her that, okay. So, uh, what persuaded you? Which sentence you liked? I mean, what really liked you liked and what persuaded you? What changed your mind? That lady said, well, I didn't like anything. I mean, I was not listening to you, what you were saying. But the reason was I cancelled. I, I did not commit my suicide. The reason was I found someone who was eager to listen to me at the middle of night for two to three hours. That convinced me, that made me believe that yes, there are some people out there who are ready to listen to me. So guys, this is all about listening. Great communicators are great listeners. Well, God has given us two ears and one mouth. There is a reason behind this. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to connect to people how to use the right psychology, right words, so that you can be a great communicator. Stick with this video and see how you can impress people and get more connected. Let's start. Well, as I said before that, communication is not only about using better words. We think, especially in India, that English is there to impress people and to, you know, try to uh, show that you are better in English, you have better words and you have better sentence structure and different accent. Wrong. Don't do that. That's not going to help. It's actually going to backfire. People will not like that. Instead of that, use this method, which I'm going to tell you. Let us move forward. See, if you want to get connected with a person, want to be a good communicator, you have to understand what that person is going through. Everyone is fighting a battle. Everyone is struggling. Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone is having that my struggle story. But no one is there to listen to that. I mean, people don't listen. And the problem starts from there. So to connect with people, first of all, you have to understand what are the feelings and what are the thoughts that person is going through. And that's only possible when you ask good questions. I will tell you there are two types of questions which you can ask open-ended question and closed-ended questions. Closed-ended questions will close the communication, will close the discussion and you will not be able to just connect with that person. But open-ended questions will open the doors for communication. Let me give you the same situation which I had taken last time in the last video. If you haven't seen the video, links are given here, watch those videos. You know, at a water cooler discussion, uh, your colleague, your friend comes there and says that my boss is a jerk I and mean, he shouted me in front of everyone in the meeting and I hate him and all that stuff. So, what to do? How to talk to him? How to connect with him? See here. Do not use why, sorry, do not use have, will or do or did kind of questions. Don't do that. Because these questions will end the discussion and that other person will answer in S or no. That's all. For example, uh, if you ask him, okay, uh, have you spoken to him after this? S or no? Or, oh, will you go and complain about him to senior authorities? S or no? So these questions don't avoid them. Instead of that, use open-ended questions. Same situation we will take and you can ask some questions. You can use some of the questions like you can ask, okay, 
what do you feel like why he must have done this what's your opinion when you ask this question that person feels like wow you are really interested and you must be really interested of course and he starts opening up he starts giving more information about what the incident was there you can ask a question like well um when do you feel like uh, this guy is really dominating you when you came to know about this well i thought like you know a um, couple of months before i thought like he's trying to dominate me and all this stuff so you can ask okay uh, how for example so how are you going to deal with this guy now what's your strategy again he will open up so dear friends if you ask these open ended questions you will get connected with that person and the communication will be open he will like he will get impressed because the best way to impress people is to listen to them as i told the story of victor frankl listen to them and make them open up ask them more questions and they should feel like wow he is there to listen to me he he is really interested in in my stuff in in my issue and that's only possible when you ask this kind of questions of course you should ask these questions with empathy with compassion with real genuine interest in that person otherwise the conversation will be dry flaky and people can very easily figure it out so guys these are some of the best ways to communicate and to connect with people communication is all about connection it's not about impression but it's about connection better words are always good better vocabulary better sentence structure better accent and all that's very nice but at the end of the day you should be able to connect with that person so next time if a friend comes to you try with these questions and see he will say you are a good person thanks for watching this video dear friends One more video is there, part four and part five. I'll talk about all those videos in the latter sections. Pleasure meeting you. Take care and bye bye. Thank you.